This is kind of becoming a pain that Eddie is never on. I'm constantly farming all of the scrap and the materials to upgrade the base and then coming back on and it's been raided. I mean, like, that's kind of annoying. But anyway, the update just came. We have new items here. So we got a drone jamming tower, which sounds pretty interesting. Um, we also got the iron hammer, which I mean, like that thing looks pretty sick. Also says that it's able to damage stone walls, which is something that melee weapons couldn't do previously. There's other stuff too, like we got the crossbow. I'm gonna go out and see if we can't find a crossbow. What is that? Energy mine. Well, we can't damage it with a regular axe, so I'm guessing we need an energy axe. That must be a new thing. That's cool. Alright, let's hit up the faithful gas station, and hopefully we find something that we want. Green card. Yeah. Sledgehammer, sick. Let's check this thing out. Okay, so... Uh, I'm like, I think machetes do more than that. Let's run. Yeah, machetes definitely do more than that. And a crossbow, straight up. Sick, sledgehammer and crossbow. Alright. Let's have a look at this crossbow. I probably should just take it home and learn it. We're probably going to get shot doing this. Ah, <laughs> sits out. It doesn't look like it can have an attachment, but I mean, like, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it costs... 300 to learn it, and it's also 300 for the arrows. I think I need to go out and get more scrap to learn the arrows, and then we'll see what it takes to make it. Alright, we got the bow. Let's have a quick look what we need. It's pretty regular stuff, except for what's that on the end? Hunting animals. Okay, so we need to hunt animals. Uh, let's head out and get some scrap and animals. Okay, so rabbits don't have it. Bears do have it. Pigs also have it. What about wolves? Oh jeez, there's a lot of them. Yeah, I, I gotta run, I'm gonna die. Let's take more than that, we'll come back for it. Hey, I shot one, run, run, run. Ah, uh, wolves also have it. And deers also have it. Alright, let's get home, make a crossbow, make some arrows, and go test this thing out. I'm excited. Alright, 300 for the arrows. Have a look what they require. Just wood and uh, cooked iron, that's pretty simple. And it's only two iron per one arrow, and I believe you can pick these back up sometimes. It's like a chance to or something, I was reading about it before. Uh, first impressions? Okay, so it has bullet drop. So you need to compensate for that the further away you are, which is a pain, but I mean like, otherwise these things would probably be pretty overpowered, right? Alright, let's try moving target. Uh, a little bit difficult. Nice, I think that was a headshot too. Let's try close quarters. Nice, 108 damage. Let's see if we can get some bullet drop distance. Oh, I hit it for 57. Uh, and that missed. I don't know if crouching helps stabilize this or not, but you think it would? Okay, that looked like it hit him in the head, but that didn't register, okay. Fuck it. This is not very accurate while moving. <laughs> oh god. This thing's gonna kill me. Oh 
I get it. Oh, I'm not going to. Oh my god, I don't miss the game. Oh. Nice. Ah, uh, one more. Ah, oh, that one missed. Nice. Ah, uh, so it's not. It's not the worst accuracy. Oh, perfect person. I wanted to see the damage it does, so let's just aim for the head. One shot. That's interesting. They haven't got any armor on, but still one shot. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, don't try to do trick shots with it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see if we can work this bullet drop out on a deer. Uh, must be a little bit further. Hit it. Right, let's try that again. So it was about there. Almost. That landed like right behind it. So if you guys have never played games like Battlefield or anything, Bullet Drop might be new to you. But I mean like. It's just like working out the trajectory of if you were like throwing darts, but you launch it and then you got to think like if it's a hundred meters away, you need to be at this height if it's 200 meters further, etc, etc. Nice. Ah, right, let's try close quarters on a deer. Nah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we're up at the bandit camp. I'm just going to test this out on some of these um, undead guards to see how well it does. Can we just do the truth? I think we can, I just kind of suck. Alright, 137. I didn't take long to take him down at all. So I think this is better than a six shooter. But it's also probably not gonna be better than most most guns unless you uh get someone that really sucks. But it's definitely better than a six shooter. Uh, I'm gonna try to shoot these guards at distance to see if this is gonna work or if it's just not going to be too good for this. Okay, so I don't know, that kinda seemed like it went to the left a bit. Okay, I hit the wrong one. I'm aiming straight, but it's going. Yeah, I'm hitting that one every single time and I'm aiming at the other one. And it's only going 37. Maybe this has uh, less damage the further I need to hit someone. And that's nothing at all. This might not be the best idea for this thing. But we did learn it, so if we die, I'll just craft another one. I'm also curious about uh, whether or not it's silenced when you shoot it on the map or not. Oh god. Okay, yeah, this isn't working. Uh, so next thing I wanted to test was the sledgehammer. Now, if you take it to the drafting table, you're probably going to notice you can't learn it because you already have it in your inventory. Go down to battle, and here it says used to hit walls, it deals high damage to walls below stone quality and no damage to walls above steel quality so I'm guessing you shouldn't be able to break iron and steel walls with it but we will test it on both anyway uh, so here's a wood wall so that's still on 33 so I'm not even gonna lie I can't remember how much a machete does. 
Here's an interesting thing too. I'm moving back and forth on this thing and it's taking forever, but if you stand still with it, it's just rapid swing. It's just one after the other after the other. I think you'd be able to break into a wooden base pretty quickly with one of these things if you had a teammate to help you maybe. Um, they are expensive though. Like you've seen in the crafting section, they do cross steel, iron, and I think pipes as well. So they're not the cheapest thing to make. And I think the repairing wouldn't be that different either. It probably cost a bit, but I mean like, definitely beats using a baseball bat. Right, we're almost through. And then we'll go hit um, the stone wall over there. See how much damage we can do to that, and then I'll go test the iron wall on my own base because I don't see any iron buildings around. Alright, how much is this going to do on a stone? 14. I mean, like, it's doable if you had a group. But... And this is a wall as well, so the doors would take less. Yeah, I think this would take forever if you sat here on your own with this. Uh, so let's go run up and hit the iron base and see how much damage we can do to that. That didn't do damage. Okay. That definitely didn't do damage. Ah, uh, well this was fun testing this out, I hope everyone got their login bonus for the maintenance being longer, and thanks for watching.